Hello. I want to say a few words today about women loving men. And I think this is an important subject for us to talk about at the moment because it's important for us to understand as women that when we love our men, we need to love ourselves in the process which tends to make things flow an awful lot easier. And the reason for that is that when we love ourselves and we are guided by integrity, we are more able to see what is the best path for ourselves in any situation or relationship because we are guided by our feminine integrity, which means wholeness. And so we protect our wholeness and our field and our life along the way, regardless of what situation or relationship that we are in. And when thinking about loving our men, we tend to often, as the feminine, overgive or overcommit in a number of ways which can be detrimental to our welfare or our life. I'm not talking about being generous by nature and loving, which we love to do as women. We love to love our men. We love to love those around us. But often we can become depleted. Often our energy is siphoned away through overgiving whilst not nurturing the divine feminine within. And understanding this need to nurture the divine feminine when we love our men is important for our welfare. Loving doesn't have to mean sacrifice. Loving doesn't have to mean sacrificing our happiness or our future welfare and growth. It doesn't have to mean that we become depleted 24 hours a day because there is no time left for our own increase in energy and power because we've given it all away throughout the day. So, although I don't give advice, it's actually simply a case of maintaining balance. It's simply a case of recognising situations and relationships that are draining and also recognising when we haven't consciously put time aside for the Divine Feminine to blossom, to be nurtured, for her to be able to appreciate her own beauty and her own growth and her own evolution. Because when we do that, when we nurture the Divine Feminine, consistently every day in our lives we actually have more to give others but actually we even have more to give ourselves in the process because we are appreciating the divine feminine which is an aspect of source and is a glorious aspect to reintegrate on a consistent basis through self-love, self-nurture, 
and recognizing when our actions, when our behavior with regards to the men in our lives is detracting from the divine feminine and is actually giving away that feminine power. When we need to be leading others through example, not control, not domination, but through example of good self-care, of appreciation of the divine feminine, and also of the powerful ability to set boundaries, to say no, to separate ourselves in order to nurture and grow the divine feminine so that we become even more fulfilled, we become even more powerful and we become importantly more happy with ourselves and with other people and we also then have our perception raised because we are operating at a higher frequency and are more easily able to see when other people are trying to bring us down, are trying to undermine us and we are more able to recognise when we are not actually loving our men, we are in sacrifice, which isn't the same thing. Because loving other people means coming from a deep place of self-love where we can honour ourselves and therefore honour other people and we can recognise when we need to withdraw from a situation that is dishonouring because we have built up a power centre of feminine energy in order to sustain us and we do not have to hang on to situations and relationships of people that are trying to take energy and detract from our lives and detract from our picture of ourselves. A deeply loving, divinely masculine man will support his woman. He will love her in supportive ways which will de be demonstrated in action and his feelings of lack towards the woman will also be demonstrated through his actions. He will not be in competition with the woman. He will not make her feel inferior. He will want to build up the family. He will want to support and nurture her and create that space where she is able to grow and nurture the Divine Feminine in order to give back to him in love and through sexual congress, which, as the matter has come up, is not something we need to give away in order to receive love. The sexual act is sacred. It's a beautiful union between the divine masculine and the divine feminine as an expression of that beautiful love. It is not something to be used in order to gain attention or love or validation from the masculine. And so, I hope that helps and I hope that it helps you support the Divine Feminine and to support loving our men in a way that shows support towards them through supporting our own Divine Feminine. As always, stay safe and very happy. Bye-bye.